Hello, gentlemen. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're working towards building the life that you want. Today, we're going to be doing a video after a long sabbatical uh, wait from YouTube for uh, giving us a uh, strike based on a thumbnail. We're making a video where we're talking about uh, toxic relationships. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing with toxic relationships. A lot of girls will say that they got out of a toxic relationship, and it's a bunch of lies. It's a bunch of garbage because if it was truly toxic, oh, I was in this four-year toxic relationship. If it was really that toxic, then why did you why did you stay in? Uh, <clears throat> they complain about toxic relationships, but here's the thing. Uh, they like toxic relationships. They do. And if they, I mean, not, of course, not every woman likes toxic relationships. There are some women out there who are, uh, you know, capable of fostering a healthy relationship and, you know, staying in it and being content and not mistaking contentment for boredom. That is possible. But when it comes to modern women who uh, get jerked around all the time by, you know, guys who are probably out of their league and guys who, you know, they're willing to break rules for because they're handsome enough, uh, sometimes they really do put up with this toxic behavior because they uh, they like their they think like um, oh the dude's attractive the the the, uh, the bedroom is good uh, you know that's all I need but you know they're not having their emotional needs met and they you know they they don't even take that into account and I mean you know they actually kind of like the emotional bandwidth going back and forth they kind of like the uh, the roller coaster I mean a lot of girls really fucking like the roller coaster. And, uh, you know, there's really nothing you could do. That's kind of just how it is. They're emotional beings. Uh, they tend to uh, gravitate towards the emotional uh, excitement, whether the excitement is scary or, you know, it's positive, negative. Obviously, not every girl is the same. But uh, let's look at this uh, Reddit thing. It says, how to get out of toxic relationship. You want to get out of a toxic relationship, you break up and you cut contact. It's that simple. But you know that. However, you're, you're just posting this on Reddit to get attention. This is the thing. Here it is. Blocked him everywhere. I'm worried that I might text him back. If he's that toxic, why would you text him back? Probably because he's six foot two with a five o'clock shadow. Am I right? Probably. I'm done with his lies. I can't do this anymore. What do I do now? Question mark. Well, if you're done with his lies and you can't do it anymore, you you don't. You don't do it anymore. That's you just answered your own question. You 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 just don't do it. That's all you have to do is just not. It's not that insane of a thing to just like not contact someone. If someone was truly that bad to you, don't contact them. I mean, if you have a cordial breakup with someone, you can you can like, you know, stay in touch with them, you know, be like what is it? You can be platonic friends with them if you really desire that. But if it's a toxic relationship, get out of there, dude. I mean, or woman, I don't know. I don't feel anything. I just feel numb. We were together for four years. Yeah, it's normal to feel numb. I personally just got out of a long distance relationship and it part part of it is feeling numb. You're going to feel empty. You're going to feel lonely. You're going to feel numb. That's just, that's just how they go, dude. It's, that's part of a breakup, you know? You have to embrace it and try and use it for personal growth. Use it to grow. Use it to become a better whatever it is in life that you want to be better at. You want to be a better uh, surfer, get better at surfing. You want to be better at lifting weights. You want to be stronger. You want to be leaner. You have to put that energy into that. And as, as hard as it can be sometimes, it is absolutely essential that you do this. Absolutely essential. You have to do that. This isn't even just advice for this woman. This is advice, period, for everyone. If you're in a, if you're if you're really hurting in a breakup and you're trying to you're trying to feel better, you need to try and rechannel that energy into, you know, the gym or into, you know, eating a healthier diet or, you know, uh, doing better at your job. You need to try and rechannel it. It's the healthiest way to cope with it. And don't feel bad for coping because everybody has their method of coping. You ha we're human beings. We have to cope. And you know, like you can pretend you're superior for not coping, but it's like we all cope. We all find ways to try and feel better about stuff that really, really hurts and really, really uh, upsets us to acknowledge. So find a good way to cope. And one of the best ways to cope is by eating healthy foods 
and by going to the gym and getting better. And also, whatever your job is, I mean, work towards uh, being better at your job. It's not, not rocket science. But anyway, you want to get out of a toxic relationship, you get out. Obviously, if the dude is not toxic, you, you, you would stay. And if he is toxic, you would leave. That's, it's really not hard. But obviously, you know, some of these women just love the toxicity. They, there's people that say like, oh, yeah, I like a relationship where the sex is good. It's a little toxic. It's be- there's women that have said that, you know, and I'm not obviously, obviously not all women, but a good, a sizable portion of them do kind of feed off the toxicness. But anyway, you know, that's enough of this. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're working towards building the life that you want. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.